I just got the uh, hardness testing files. Gonna try them out on a couple of knives here. I did this first one already. You're supposed to start with the highest level. It goes to 65. And 65, I, I can, I heard someone say you can feel it biting. You don't have to push that hard. And I can feel it biting into it. But I'll make a mark just for, so you can see the mark it just made reflecting right there. But uh, yeah, you can feel it gripping like sandpaper hitting wood. And the next one down is a 60. And to my surprise, even if I push somewhat hard, it's not, it's not biting, skidding across. So this, this is a Chinese made uh, Henkel's, um, the cheaper version of the, of that brand, but um, that came with the house. But it's, I'm, so, I'm, I'm very surprised that this is suggesting that it's over 60. I always thought they'd be closer to 56. So that, that's interesting. Um, I mean, it does keep a good edge, I can tell you that. Really good, so maybe this knife is better than I even gave it credit for. So let's go on to the Victorinox. And uh, I assume none of these are going to be 65. I think even much over 60 is like very specialty. And 66 is about as high as they go, so. I can feel that biting right away. You can see it resisting my pushing it. So this is just the, the most popular knife of Victorinox, Chef Knife. That's like serial number super. This is an older one. I got it at an estate sale, but it's almost, I, I think, it, I've heard that it's pretty much the same steel. So it's like, it doesn't feel, now it's biting, it's a little bit interesting. So we'll go down to 55. And uh, you can dig in and make scratches, but I... So 55 is definitely skating. So if this is advertised as 56, so this is not surprising. And, and I've heard that that's what chefs like because they can sharpen it, you know, without special equipment. Yeah. So we got this one. Allegedly, this is harder than 60. This is uh, harder than 55. It did feel like it wanted to bite, but it wasn't, which makes sense. It says right at 56. And so I'd expect these two to be pretty true to their word. They're, they're, they're like two of the most biggest companies in the world for for kitchen knives. So this is, was a mystery knife. I have another knife similar that's a Chicago Cutlery. They both came with the house I bought. I think this is Chicago Cutlery. Um, probably 70s or 80s. So I'm curious, actually. I have a, I, it, it works pretty well. It, it, was a hard, it was hard to sharpen. So I, I think it might be closer to the, the hinkle. So it's you start at the higher hardness of the files to prevent wearing down your files. Because you usually you want to, you're supposed to use this curved spot and not sort of bite an edge. You want to get a smooth surface. So, uh, and yeah, so it's it's biting readily. And I don't want to scuff up my knives. That's not doesn't make sense. So let's go. We go down to the sixty again. And it's let's see. Yeah, that's biting. So the 55. Same result. I'm, I'm bumping another knife with the handle, but... All right. Well, that's impressive that this Chicago Cutlery, which is not necessarily known to be as nice as a Victorinox, is as hard. Now, that doesn't mean that it doesn't have a worse um, alloy content and worse edge retention. But I can say that it's proven 
pretty good so far. And the hardness is a factor in edge retention and, and, and uh, how hard the knife is. Um, but those carbides formed from the other metal, the other alloys, um, vanadium and uh, carbon, and there's a couple other ones, they are very important and are separate from the hardness of the knife and, and edge retention. So, but that's, that's interesting. I'll, I'll be testing some more knives and uh, curious to see how it turns out.